Good morning, welcome to Monday and welcome to, well, I call it the final vlog, but it's not the final vlog. Now, obviously we're moving away from weekly vlogs and we're going to do something different with the channel, which I'm really quite nervous about and excited about as well, because, uh, well, you'll sort of see what it is next week, but yeah, it's, it's a lot, it's more work if I'm really honest, but it's just something that I think aligns better with the channel. So uh, it, this is the last weekly vlog, but it's not the last vlog. I'm still gonna pep, like sort of pepper them in every now and then. And I think it'll be a bit of a nice treat to sort of have these vlogs every now and then. So today I've got quite a lot to do. There's been a lot of orders that have built up over the weekend. I need to get them down to the post office. There's, there's all sorts that I need to do today, really, but um, yeah, it's a lot of different vinyl colours and yeah, so I just basically need to have a day just to clear up the orders. I did actually get through all of the orders today and I cleared them down to zero. So what sort of things can you expect going forward? So what we're going to be doing going forward is a bit of a I tried this budget hack or I tried doing this and I tried doing that and just seeing if it worked for me. So if you remember back to when we had the video, when about the time when I was moving house, um, I did a video on does vintage work? And I did one about do, if you only buy yellow label stuff, does that work? And I tried out those things and see if they worked for me. And I'm gonna do stuff like that. So uh, the first one will come next week and it's gonna be a bit of a view. The only thing that we are removing is we aren't having like the live chat anymore, which, you know, is, is a shame. But if you really like the live chat element, we've still got the lives every Tuesday and Thursday. So it's not like you're going to lose that piece with me. But also when we do have a random vlog every now and then, I'll, I'll do it as a premiere so that we can all chat together and it will be... It'll be fun, but it won't be on a Sunday. It'll likely be a Friday. So every Sunday now is going to be a, I tried this and I tried that. Every Wednesday is going to be the weekly check-ins. And every Friday is going to be um, just the random video, really. So yeah, um, it, is, it is bittersweet that the vlogs are going in the capacity that they are. Just because I really, really... At the start, I really enjoyed making them. It was really something quite creative, but they were quite draining on having to do something every day. And I never really got any respite. And while the videos that I'm planning are more work and they take longer to film and longer to edit and stuff like that, I, I still get to have days off if I want or need a day off. Whereas the vlog didn't allow me to do that. The vlogs, I just had to vlog no matter how good I was feeling, how good I was feeling about myself and all of that. So yeah, it's um, it's much better for me and I think it's better for you guys in the end, really. But anyway, we talk about that um, and more than enough now. So I am gonna go, I'm gonna leave you with this packing and all the stuff that I've been up to today and then I'll pick up with you tomorrow, besties.
Good morning, besties. It's Tuesday. Um, Simon! What was that, Simon? You donut. Oh, Simon. Today's Tuesday. I haven't got a great deal to do today because uh, we cleared orders down to zero yesterday. And um, even during the day yesterday, I um, cleared some of the orders that we got yesterday. So I've only actually got three orders to complete this morning. However, I need to keep one of them at least for the live uh tonight so um i've got stuff to do i make my bed every morning and when i come up to get into my bed it is always messy and it's because someone is being a little <laughs> he's just running around and being crazy so yeah the sales have been really really slow recently so because of that i've had to readjust my budget and i got my paid my final amount so that I can do my cash stuffing and all of that stuff for this Friday's video. And that'll be the money for uh, March. Now, it makes it really, really tough because March is a five week period and uh, it has been slow in February for sales. So because of that, I've got less money to stretch further. So I was a bit disappointed in the fact that I can't do as much as I wanted to with the money that I earned. However, it's more than enough to live on. So I need to sort of be grateful for that. So I am super grateful. Yeah, because of that, uh, I'll be going into town, but I'm gonna print off orders first, as make whatever I can. But I do, I really do need to save some stuff for the live tonight. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Um, I guess I will see you a bit later on, bestie. So I'm just about to go ahead and film a couple of videos. Um, I'll tell you what they are in a sec, but um, I wanna tell you about my editing of the video from Wednesday. So I use two cameras and I'm using my new phone and my old phone. Now, they both film at different rates um, and it's a real struggle for me to sort of match them up. So you're gonna see a big difference in color shift. And that is because the camera on the new phone is much, much better. Like it's better at filming like people and stuff like that. But I've kind of got a certain vibrancy to how my videos have always been. So trying to sort of change the color into that is actually quite tricky. So I'm actually a bit disappointed with the video that went out on Wednesday in terms of how it looks because it just, there's a, it kind of looks unsaturated and then oversaturated. It flits between the two far too often. So I'm not happy about that. So I am about to go and film my 
cash stuffing and that video is out on Friday and I need to try and figure out a way to make sure that that doesn't happen again um, and if you remember from the vlog last week I looked literally grey um, when I was talking to you so and that's because it was artificial light so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I do know that my old camera works fine so I think that might be like the filming one even though i'm filming on the new one right now i mean i don't know what i'm playing at really but yeah i'm gonna do that but before i play around with that i'm gonna have pancakes because bestie it's pancake day Pet joke. Hi bestie. So today's a bit of a weird one. There haven't been enough orders to make. As in, there's like three or four orders. Um, so it's not enough to take to the post office. So there's not really much point making them. So I'm not gonna. So uh, my sister-in-law's kind of had a day off and I am just editing videos. I filmed a lot and I'm gonna spend a lot of the day editing, but it can get boring. So I'm just walking to the shop now to get myself a Red Bull, maybe a snack. And and um, hopefully I'll do some more interesting things in the evening. Okay, I've had an Amazon delivery and I thought I'd unpackage that with you, like unbox it, I guess is the word, because people have asked to see this, but I find it really boring because it's like literally the same thing every single week. But here we go. We've got two parcels today. So let's have a look, see what we've got. So first of all, I've got some A5 cellos. Oh, got some of these, but these are the wrong ones. I hate these ones. Oh, I ordered the wrong one. So annoying. I got some more of these, so I need to update my Etsy listing. So there's loads of ones now. So all the colours that went out of stock. So I think the blue went out of stock. Orange were okay. Pink were okay. Purple we ran out of. Emerald we ran out of. And the light blue we did. And I've got some laminating pouches, which is good. In this second one, I believe it is laminating pouches again. Nope. Paper. I got my paper. I need to figure out what to do about these because these are, I don't like these ones. I suppose I'll just work through them. If you look, they're a little bit wider than how I prefer them. So it's annoying. But before I do anything with that, I need to go to the shops with Jake because we've run out of everything. So we're going to Tesco, uh, we've run out of milk, I butter, need a, I need a scrub daddy. he needs a scrub daddy, we've still got household money left over, uh, we just don't have a lot of like groceries money, peanut butter, peanut butter Jake needs, butter, really. butter um, uh, what, clothes washing tonight. stuff, yeah there's a couple bits that we need so we're gonna go and get that stuff and hopefully be under budget i've got a sneaky feeling that i'm going to be using petrol money to pay for a bit of this groceries but that's the price we pay for a lovely chinese with friends
you're right besties it's about half past 10 at night and i'm gonna print off my orders for tomorrow um but i am coming down with a cold hardcore i hate i hate this feeling when you just want to do everything that you have within you to make it not be a cold but it's gonna happen bestie so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and make one of this stuff uh, I'm literally just printing because tomorrow we'll sort of turn them into cash envelopes. I'll make the vinyl and do all of that. But yeah, that's what I'm up to tonight. I've got a couple of things to respond to on Etsy as well. So I'm probably going to work for about another, actually it's 11. So maybe an, maybe an hour, that'll probably be it. But yeah, that's what I'm up to, bestie. <laughs> Okay, so I've done some bits and bobs tonight. So these are printed, these are part of the starter bundle set. I'm just gonna make 10 packs so they're good to go. I'm printing off all sorts of stuff. So if you look over here, I'm just gonna swing the camera if you get motion sickness. So over here, I've got all of my 20 sided die sets all set out. So these are like packs ready to go. I kind of want them to be sort of ready made. So I've got these ready. I've got my 10 sided and I've got my 2K dices sorted. Over here, I'm printing more 10 sided dices. And these were the dice that I, I didn't have a backing for. So they're printed now. But if you look at these dice here, they are like greeny black sort of galaxy colored. So I've done a special dice set. So there's three and they're on the Etsy store now. They are literally a galaxy 20 sided dice. So that's the back and that's the front. So they follow the same format, but it's galaxy. And I really, really like the way that they've turned out. So they're on the Etsy store now, but let me show you about the change that I've made. So on Etsy now, this is true for the pastel 10 sided dice, for the 20 sided dice and the 2K dice. You now have a uh, option of your color. So uh, I've only got these four colors in stock for the pastel ones, but there's loads in stock of the 20. And now you've got a choice of customized or non-customized. So if you choose non-customized, that's the cheaper option. And it will just say save 330. So just like here. And if you want it customized, you can then choose all of your like vinyl options. So let me show you what that looks looks like on a different listing. So on the 20 sided dice, you have your style, which is your color. I am gonna get some more red and orange in stock soon. Uh, I'm gonna order some, but there's uh, plenty of the rest. And then uh, personalized is yes or no. So that's true there. I also amended the 2K dice. So previously you could choose your color like willy nilly, but now I have like limited stock amounts because I'm running out of these dice. Um, I've got limited stock amounts of those. So I think there's one fuchsia left, but there's plenty of others. I think there's like 16 in total left in stock. And obviously you've got the personalized and non-personalized. And I kind of did that just so that I can manage it a little bit better and it's cheaper for me because at the moment it is still quite expensive because I have to do so much personalization on them. But yeah, that is literally me done for the night. So I'm really excited about that space one. And if it sells well, I might try and find some more like sort of spacey sort of designs. But I thought that would look really, really well. So yeah, lots of um, stuff. And I just really wanted to do that. It's, it's one of those things that I want to sort of try and make my shop as ready made as possible. And I I want to do it now that I've got the downtime while the sales are slow and while I'm not making as much money I can put this effort in now while I've got the resources and everything like that and then I can then it just sort of makes sense for the future so I know that there is a little bit of a price hike with the personalized but the prices are going to continue to go up um 
and I'm trying to do them in the smallest increments possible because, you know, I feel a massive responsibility. <gasps> Sorry if you saw that coming down. <laughs> That's disgusting. So yeah, I do feel a massive responsibility to try and keep my prices as low as possible because I know that I'm supposed to be helping people get out of debt. I'm supposed to be helping people save up for stuff. And, you know, this is a luxury in, in a way, but it also isn't a luxury because it really helps you get to the place that you want to be. So it, it's like a double-edged sword. So I'm trying to keep the prices as low as possible, but I also need to make money. So where things just cost more now, um, it does make it tough. So yeah, so, you know, that that's where we're at with it. So there will be slow price rises on stuff, but I'm, you know me, I'm never going to take the mickey. So that's not going to happen. But anyway, it is one o'clock in the morning. I've been having far too much printing. So I'm going to go to bed now. Tomorrow, I'm going to work through a lot of that stuff uh, and get a lot of that done. So um, it's going to be fun. Um, Obviously, I've done Friday's video, so the only video I need to really do now is the vlog. So I might spend a bit of time on that tomorrow, just catching up, because I've been filming it off two videos. I mean, it's boring stuff, but I've been filming it off two cameras, and the videos don't have a sequential nature, so I need to find it all now. So if I make sense of it now, it'll probably be better, but yeah. Um, I've got the live tomorrow and it's not a making live so I can talk about the galaxy thing on there as well so yeah hopefully it's still in stock by the time you get to watch this because people do tend to snap up stuff on the live and yeah yeah I'll see you tomorrow besties
Um, it's Saturday, uh, it's the last day of this vlog, and it's the last day of sequential vlogs in a row. The last couple days I haven't really been talking to the vlog because I have felt awful. Like I went on to do my live on Thursday and I literally could handle 13 minutes and that was it. I had to come off, I was like, I feel terrible. Jake, can you like, I just got to film something for two minutes. What? All right, thank you. Oh, Jake, uh, I'm trying to, Jake, for f what do you want now? So anyway, I felt really, really rubbish the past couple days. So I'm feeling better today. Jake. So I'm feeling better today. I have got quite a lot of stuff that I need to do today. So I have got, well, yesterday you saw me put up some shelves. I was hoping I was gonna be able to do that with command hooks, but they just need to be drilled into the wall. So I've asked my brother to come and do it. So hopefully he does, because he's the only person I know that's gonna use like a spirit level and things like that to make sure it's level. So hopefully he comes and does that. I have messaged him to say that if he doesn't come, I am gonna de-brother him. Um, so there might be a brother going spare if it doesn't arrive today. So. Um, that's good and I'll show you what's going to go in those because I think I've spoke about it a little bit but I haven't edited this video yet to sort of see what I've spoke to you about or, or not but there's tons of new products in the Etsy store right now. I also need to film my check-in video and I also need to film my mm, April budget because I've got all the stuff as well and honestly vlog has to happen today um, and I have to film and edit and upload the April budget today. So those are two things that have to happen. Um, so I'm gonna do those and I'm gonna show you some bits and then we'll have a nice sort of farewell um, because this is kind of it, bestie. This is the last day, but it's, it's a shame that I've been poorly because I would have loved to have just shown you more and I did have stuff planned that I just don't have time to do today. So yeah, that, that's a shame. But at the same time, we've got a vlog out. <laughs> hopefully, I mean, I haven't edited it yet, but yeah, hopefully. But anyway, I'm gonna have a bit of breakfast and then I will see you later on. Okay, so the vlog is edited up to this point right now. It's Saturday, it's like five o'clock. I've been procrastinating so much today, but I've really, really enjoyed myself. Um, couple things um i want, really wanted to show you what i'm up to because i don't think i'm going to get it finished by the time i get to sort of like the end of this vlog because it is going to end tonight so i don't think i'm going to finish everything but i just want to show you a couple bits that i'm really really excited about new bits on the shop and then i've got a little bit of an update for you and then I will just sort of chat with you throughout the day. So what I bought was this sort of clipping system. Now, if you're from Argos, I would call this a lin bin, but essentially what it is, are these cute little cups that I want to wall mount and they sort of clip into them. And you'll recognize them if like anybody in your life or you have a shed with like tools in and stuff like that, but they are literally the perfect size for a cash envelope. So because I'm not very good at drilling or anything like that, I bought a ton of command strips. And if you look, it stands proud from the wall. They don't, it's not gonna carry the weight at all. So I want to put them here. Um, and probably will get more, I uh, wanna put them here so that I can just grab them and go. And the sorts of things, let me show you the sorts of things that I wanna put in these. So it's gonna be things that are already made. So I've got all of my like 12 packs, my six packs of the beautiful paper ones. So they're really nice. I dropped one on the floor actually. Ugh. And then I've got the singles here. I've got all of the pre-made scratch-off challenges. I've got these. But the work that I've been doing over the past couple days is on all of these. So these have got all of my savings challenges in. And essentially what they're going to be is like in this one, there are these. So this is the yellow one pre-made. It's got the save 330. If it becomes a custom order, I can just take that out and just replace it with the custom. But it, the dice is in there as well. So it's all good to go because every single time somebody would order one, it would be, I have to print it, I have to cut the vinyl for it, I have to grab the dice. It would it become a bigger job than it needs to be. But once I've ordered all of the um, thingy-majigs, um, the 
uh, what the zipper is for them. So they're coming tomorrow. So it's not going to be done till tomorrow. But can you imagine it? Up on this wall, it's going to be amazing. The other thing I wanted to tell you is my order has come in. So now we offer A7 zippers. So that's literally on the shop right now. So um, any zipper listing, you can order A5, A6 or A7. They are a little bit wider than what I was expecting, but they fit and they are beautiful. So I've got literally more than that. I've got more than that, Bestie. So they're on there and it's just a normal commonplace listing. Let me show you something else. I want to sort of reorganise all of this because it's sort of took a bit of a battering. Uh, I know I need to sort some bits and bobs out, but I, I, I want to sort of make it a bit more make sense for me. One of the things that I have introduced into the Etsy shop are these. Now these are six packs of cash envelopes. Now they are made to the exact same quality and they are just they're just such a good little starter thing so let me hold on so they look like this and then when you open them it is literally just a cello bag and it has six cash envelopes in rainbow color i'm gonna do loads of different sets and they are literally just a laminated envelope with a clear window at the front or the back whichever way around you prefer to do it so it's not customizable but you can oh, but you can buy emails but you can buy the uh the vinyl to stick on them and that's what they look like so let me show you the different variations that are currently available but i've got so many plans for these on the etsy store so first of all we have the bright stripes which i showed you that goes red orange yellow green blue purple and then we have solids in bright that is red to purple and we have bright gingham, which are red to purple in gingham. Bright dots, which are red to purple in dots. Then we have exactly the same, but in pastel. So um, that goes pink to purple in dots. We obviously have it in gingham as well. We have it in solids. And we have it in stripes. Now, these are cheaper than if you were to just buy six cash envelopes from me. They're, they work out cheaper because they're not personalizable. So I can spend time making a ton of these um, good to go. So um, that's my next job for next week is to, while I've got the downtime, while sales are slow, I can spend time on building this so that they're ready to go for when we're selling things like this. Because I think these are just cute little designs that you know they're gonna really really work for everybody obviously i'm gonna sell some ombre sets and things like that but don't sleep on these because these are an absolute bargain if you want quality i know you can get six cash envelopes cheaper elsewhere however these are of such good quality that i'm really really excited about it so hopefully my brother comes so that I can get that wall done. But if he comes tomorrow, then I just won't include it on the vlog. But I will update you with that as it happens. Because I think it's quite a big sort of turning point for my shop where it's not as taxing on my time and like don't get me wrong i love spending time making stuff and doing bespoke stuff and like it just makes me so happy but being able to really quickly go through orders and then that sort of drives the price down as well or it allows me to keep the current prices and not inflate them because things just cost more so having stuff that is good to go makes me super super happy so you know the new things that are in the store this week are all of those six packs of envelopes and the a7 zippers and oh, I, i've been waiting for them for so long i'm so happy with how they've arrived and everything like that so really really excited about that the other thing that I wanted to update you on is today I got a notification from YouTube that it is my channel's two year anniversary. So that's a big thing. So I'm going to do a little bit of content around that, uh, which you might not see for a while. But um, yeah, I've had an idea and I'm going to do something with that. But let me show you something else. <laughs> I need to show you something else. So some of you might remember these. I don't actually sell these anymore, but I found a load. There's like 50 odd of these. These are my first 1K slips. And um, I put them in goodie bags and all sorts of stuff like that. There's um, like 
50 to 70 available so there's not really enough and I, d I don't think they sold well enough anyway uh for people to actually want but i'm going to give these away as freebies in the next orders as long as they are not like sort of borderline weight wise so for the next sort of 70 odd orders i'll give one of these away as a freebie so that's the thing i wanted to show you too i do have a couple things that i want to get done today so i want to film my check-in today because it's saturday i've done all my spending for the week and i'm looking forward to give myself some more spending money so i'm gonna do that in a sec and i also need to film my april budget as well so i'm gonna go upstairs and do that that's my next job so have a quick bath or a shower probably a bath actually and then i'm gonna film those videos and then i will check in with you at the end of today so yeah i really really hope you like those new things um i know then they're not going to be amazing for people that have been around the blocker a long time but if you want you know a way to get like six envelopes nice and cheap and if you're an a7 person you like the zippers then bestie we got this let's get this done <laughs> but yeah i'm really really excited to sort of have things that are easier to make and yeah i suppose that's about it really but yeah um i guess i'll check in with you later on bestie Okay, I've procrastinated and I haven't done what I said I'm going to do, but I am going to do it now. But I've been upset. Okay, upset is probably not the right word, but I've been not happy with how my uh, Etsy listings have sounded because they're all different because I've made them at all times. Like some of the listings I've had on the shop since I opened the shop, like they're old. So the information's not exactly correct. And you know, some of the listings I'm af asking you for a hex code. Do you, know, do you remember? Like, I haven't done that in such a long time. So, what I've done now is I've written a sort of blanket what I want all of my Etsy listings to say so that I can just edit a bit of information to it and then it's done. So, let me read it out to you and you can tell me if it sounds all right or not. Nice. So, hi, Bethy. Thanks for taking a look at this listing. Here's the info you're after. This is, and then it'll just say what it is. And then it says, for personalised orders, which is most orders, uh, please be clear in your personalisation box what you need. I may sometimes reach out to you if there's something doesn't make sense, but often I'll do what is described. I won't fix any spelling as this is likely exactly how you want it. So make sure you've proofread what you put before you purchase. Please reach out to me before you buy if something doesn't make sense. A few other bits to keep in mind to avoid disappointment. Font 1 is uppercase only, unless you specifically request it to be otherwise. Font 7 is always lowercase only, unless you specifically request it to be. If you do, if you do not choose a font, I will default to font 1. If you do not choose a vinyl colour, I will choose what is most appropriate, usually white. For bulk orders, for example, nine packs of envelopes, only one vinyl colour can be chosen. If you choose multiple, I will make all in the first colour required. If you do not choose enough categories, I will assume you want blank envelopes and I'll produce them for you. If you provide the wrong address, I will ship to the wrong address. All materials are sourced ethically and of the highest possible quality. However, all items are handmade, so they may include some minor or slight imperfections. If these ish are issues which mean that the item is not as described or lower than anticipated quality, please reach out and I will do my best to resolve. I take pride in the way that I design, produce and ship your items, so if there is an issue, I want to hear about it. Uh, your item will be mailed to you in either a rigid backboard mailer or a bubble mailer, whichever is most appropriate. Both are made from at least 60% recycled material and are fully recyclable in our area your area. I'm shipping from the UK and use Royal Mail second class or international standard for all parcels. I cannot be held liable for any loss, damage or delay in shipping, but am able to assist you with proof of postage at any point. Should you wish to expedite your shipping to tracked, there is a separate listing uh, and when combined with this purchase, I will include the tracking option so you can see uh, where it is at all times. 99% of my orders are sent standard and it is the same speed and exact same reliable service uh, as that as a tracking function. Due to screen calibrations, colours uh, in the images may appear slightly different than the physical product. And then at the bottom it says, let's be besties. And it's got a link for my YouTube and my Instagram. So I think that 
while it does sound a bit harsh, like if you don't do this, then this will happen. If you don't do this, this will happen. I think it's a lot more clearer now. So I, I can be like, look, this is the info you're after. This is what it is. But then all of the caveats that come with personalised orders. So like I know when you look at like other people's um, like Etsy listings, it doesn't have that much information, but they're not necessarily doing custom orders. So because nearly probably like 90% of what I send out is custom. I, I have to be clear because sometimes things arrive to people and they're like, oh, you spelt birthdays wrong. I was like, no, you spelt birthdays wrong, but I didn't correct you because that's not my job. That might be how you spell birthdays. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, <laughs> I need to go and do some work, bestie. Okay, so my brother never did arrive. So yeah, it's officially been debrothered. So I mean, there's a spare brother going if you want one. <laughs> anyway, um, what am I doing now? Um, I have just filmed so many videos. I've just filmed my check-in and I filmed my uh, budget. And to sort of put that into context, it probably takes me about an hour and a half to film a budget video. And then I edit it down to like 25 minutes. And I try to make it as short as I can, but like sometimes they're just really long. So I'm really excited to show you the new stuff. Um, but yeah, it, this is a very bittersweet goodbye to the vlog. We do have another vlog planned. It is vlog 44 and it's going to be on the 14th of April. So that will be premiere as well. We'll be able to do that. But you have got one, two, three, four, five, six weeks to wait for that. So there's going to be like a ton of stuff. It will be like an hour long. I'll do loads of stuff, but at least it can be a bit more impactful and a bit more exciting and engaging because we can, but there's just going to be more in there and it's not just going to be me packing. So hopefully you're going to enjoy it. But before I do go, I need to say hello to a couple of patrons because we have missed out on so much because I've just been like not talking. <laughs> so massive welcome to Foxy Budgets, massive welcome to Heidi, massive welcome to Emma Gold, massive welcome to Tina Sharbert, massive welcome to Amanda Briggs, and a massive welcome to Christine Wood. Thank you so much. I mean, like, this support means the world to me. And the fact that people are staying with me and sticking with me, but also new people are coming along. It truly, truly means the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing really more to talk to you about um, other than just thank you for being here for the vlogs. I think they've really helped the channel grow into something. But, you know, there's a season and a reason for everything. And if you are going to be sad to see these go, um, I'm sorry, but they're not going completely. Um, I think there's still space for studio vlogs and studio tours and stuff like that. And I have got a studio tour planned for... 20th of March because I need to get this stuff sorted and the new sort of era that this shop is hopefully sort of going into I hope it pans out for us because I really want to make this work but anyway we are at the end of today's video thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video you know I love it when you get through to the end of the video please give this video some love make sure you like comment share and subscribe and if you are going to comment please use this emoji that is all I have for you and we are not closing the door on vlogs but we are closing the door on weekly vlogs who knows what will happen at Christmas I might do vlogmas um but it needs to be interesting. Thank you so much to everybody who has been with me. I mean, I'm feeling very nostalgic today just because of that alert that today is the second birthday of this channel. So, I, you know, I've got so many people to thank, so many people that are in the chat all the time, just so many people that have been here since the start um, to thank for making this what it is and long may it continue. Extra special thank you to the patrons because they are bankrolling what we do here and they're making all of this possible because without them I don't think I would be able I would be working I'd be working in a shop and I wouldn't be able to put out content at the level that I am now not that you know I'm in good lighting or anything right now but yeah what the patrons do means the world to me 
If you would like to join them and become a bestie and be a patron, please take a look at the link in the description. You will not regret a bestie. I've spoke about it a lot and this is probably the last time that I'm going to speak about it and see what happens. But please, 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 please check out the link in the description for Monzo. If you are a UK person and you like the thought of having digital sinking funds or at least the opportunity to have digital sinking funds, follow my link and get a Monzo account. That will allow you to have digital sinking funds in a really, really good way. And it's the account that I use, it's the account that I recommend and I absolutely love it. When you use my link and when you spend your first bit of money, you will get a fiver and so will I. And it would be really nice if I could share that with you. But we are here at the end. So thank you for being here. Uh, it was a shame that I was poorly this week, so the vlog is short, but uh, I do need to go and I will see you in the next one. I actually feel like I'm gonna cry. No, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm really excited to share with you what we've got coming next and I'm gonna be working really hard on getting some really good content for you. So I really hope that you like the, the corner that just everything is turning. So thank you so much. And I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And Bessie, I will see you in the next one. See you really soon. Bye-bye.